So I spent a week with the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i. We're gonna get into some benchmarks that I made able to run, some things that I've noticed that I don't like too much, and some things that I really do like. And then later on in the next couple of days, we'll be launching the full review when I can finish all of my benchmarks. Now, first and foremost, one thing that is absolutely killing me about Intel is the battery life is still not improved. I want to see better battery life out of these bigger gaming laptops, and I feel like they are giving us more performance with these new 13th gen H series CPUs, but we have not seen an improvement in battery life. You can see my initial results up on the screen now for Passmark productivity and video streaming playback, and it's no better than the 2022 model. I really wanna see some laptop company put an i7-1360P with a dedicated GPU like the RTX 4060 or 4070 just to see what happens. And that, I think, could be a really good way to go ahead and do iGPU mode, get really great battery life when you're on the go, and then turn on your dedicated GPU when you wanna get that full performance, and maybe you're plugged into a charger and you're just like balls to the walls, getting awesome video editing, 3D modeling, some sort of content creation that you're doing. All right, the next thing would be the Photoshop benchmark. You saw the initial Photoshop benchmark in the unboxing, but I've now run it on battery only mode. And you can see it actually cuts the Photoshop benchmark in half. So know that you're gonna get some CPU throttling when you go on to battery only mode. The Photoshop benchmark is a 697 while on battery life. That's still really good. I like to say anything above a 700 is fantastic. So you're right below that fantastic point while you're on battery power. Now looking at Cinebench R23 on battery power and on power supply, you can see that it also has a diminishing performance there as well when you go on straight battery power. So you're gonna get the most performance out of this machine while plugged into the charger. Not a huge surprise there, still a very common incident with Windows-based laptops. Now going ahead and looking at video editing, this is where the laptop really stood out to me. We saw a two minute and 17 second export time right behind the GT77 Titan with that two minute and six second export time for 4K. But lo and behold, in 6K B-RAW export, we were able to get an 11 minute and 43 second export time, a better export time than the GT77 Titan. So if you're looking for a killer 6K video editing laptop, you have found it. Over the past few years, my wife has had her personal information stolen and accounts open without her approval. A while back, we found some of these accounts and took action to eliminate these issues. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. We've been using Aura to monitor our personal information online for over a year now and have been able to reclaim control of our personal data. Aura will identify data brokers that are exposing your information and automatically submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Anyone can find anything on the internet, including your full legal name, your personal email, your home address, phone number, and even your relatives. This information is accessible because of data brokers who profit by selling your information to robocallers, telemarketers, spammers, and anyone else that wants to learn more about you. Aura will even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists. You can use my link by going to aura.com slash Kaiser to try a two-week free trial to see how many data brokers are sharing your information. Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitor, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. Aura has almost every internet safety tool you'll ever need, all inside one app. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. If you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two-week free trial with my link in the video description. You'll be shocked at how much of your private information Aura finds exposed over those two weeks. It's quite frightening, actually. Aura.com slash Benji Kaiser or scan the QR code on the screen right now. I think you'll be very happy with the protection that you receive and the level of comfort that you get by using Aura. We have been extremely happy using it for over a year and I definitely recommend it. And one thing that really intrigued me was going from RTX 3070 Ti to RTX 4070 definitely gave us zero drop frames in B-Raw. But don't forget about RTX 3070 Ti because there's some laptops on sale right now that you might want to consider. We still saw a very low drop frames for RTX 3070 Ti out of the model with the Ryzen 7 6800H. So like I said, I'm a big promoter of saving money, of getting really what you need. And so if you don't need to go all in on the newest generation, let's say you're doing 4K video editing, then maybe consider a last year's model. You know I'm a big proponent. Just wanted to throw that out there. Now, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of the latest 
Lenovo Legion Pro 7i, or perhaps the current available Legion 5 Pro from last year. I'll put links in the description below and you can click those links, check it out. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Looking at After Effects, we definitely saw a bump in performance, almost a hundred point difference between last year's model and this year's model. So definitely something to consider. If you're an After Effects user, you'll definitely have a big advantage with the latest RTX 4070 and Intel 13th gen CPU in the Legion Pro 7i. Now color gamut range is something that is still good, not stellar. And what I mean by that is you have 100% sRGB, but you have 80% Adobe RGB and 80% DCI-P3. So this isn't one of those really, really color accurate OLED displays. It is still a great display. It is still bright, but it's not as color accurate as something like the Asus ProArt StudioBook Pro 16 OLED, or maybe like the Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Ultra, those displays have a larger color gamut range. However, this display is still very accurate at 0.73 Delta E and bright at 537 nits. So it's still a fantastic panel. It just doesn't take it to the next level with those OLED panels that you can get on the models that I mentioned. All right, now let's get into some things that I didn't like about this laptop. This might just be because I was not the first one to review this laptop. It showed up to me with the tape cut, so I knew it wasn't a brand new model coming from Lenovo to me as a demo model. I did not get paid to do this review. Nobody paid me to do this review. The only way I make money on this review is views. And then if you decide to purchase a laptop through the affiliate link below, but it came with a broken shift key. So let me tilt this up real quick so you can see this from the top camera. You can see this shift key, um, it's, it's broken off. See, I can pull that away right there. So that was kind of disappointing. Now, I'm not gonna say that this is a full quality control issue because somebody could have broken this while they were reviewing it. But I just wanted to point that out that I was a little disappointed that this one though somebody used it before me, showed up with a broken shift key. Not saying that that is a quality control issue where you know the keys are less reliable or, or cheaper than they are in the past, because that's one thing that really stood out to me is I love the feel of the keys this year. They were quieter, they were a little more soft touch to the feel, um, and I really like the snappiness of them. So I don't know officially if they've changed anything about the keyboard, but I really enjoyed the feel of it this year. Now, the next thing I wish they did was instead of giving us four USB type A's and two USB type C's, I wish we had three and three. More and more recently do I find myself needing a lot of USB type C ports. I have a lot of drives I'm using to exchange between me and my editor. She has a lot of drives that we're exchanging, and a lot of times she wants to plug in two or three drives at once because we have projects spread across multiple drives. It just makes it easier to have a couple terabyte drives that we can exchange amidst ourselves rather than having like one really big four terabyte drive. And so having more ports on the computer would be more practical for our workflow. I don't know about you, but that would be nice for me to have three and three. Now this isn't the end of the world, but it surprised me that they no longer have the RGB lighting in the logo or on the vents. On last year's 2022 model, they had RGB on the side vents, the back vents, as well as the front panel, as well as below the keyboard deck and on the keyboard. As you can see, they've removed the RGB from these spots and I thought, hmm, that was an interesting choice. Not necessarily good or bad because they were huge battery life sucks, but it is less, you know, fancy than last year's model. Now, one thing I really love about it is you can go ahead and quickly hit your function button and with three taps, turn off your RGB lighting. That is so much simpler than launching the Lenovo Vantage Center and going through all that and finding the right settings and clicking it. You can just function, pop it back on. Super convenient. Should you buy the 2023 Lenovo Legion Pro 7i? It continues to get better year over year. One thing I'm really loving about Lenovo right now is they're not stopping the improvement of their products. There will be other companies that I will not mention, but I've done a product review recently and I opened the product, I unboxed it, and I thought, what is this? It missed the mark. It just wasn't what it should be. They didn't improve it in any way. It just it dropped the ball. And that is not the case with these Legion laptops. They have great build materials. They have great build quality. They have great performance. They have great control. They have great ventilation and ports and the trackpad and the keyboard and everything works so well. And they continue to be thoughtful with the improvements of the different aspects of the laptop. So I would say absolutely, it is a fantastic buy. All of that mixed in with a great price point that they offer with these laptops and amazing customer satisfaction. You'll see in the comment section of my videos how many people purchase these Legion laptops and absolutely love them. If that's not enough for you, well, 
Keep watching videos and hopefully you'll find the laptop that's just right for you. Links in the description if you are ready to make a purchase and I will see you here in the full review. Click or tap the screen here when it's ready.